out a little bit yesterday with Robert, and I would say at least 50 times. Whoa! Oh, I got my glasses off. I can't see. Sorry, good. <laughs> it went right by my head. Teeter totter. Woo! Having fun yet? <laughs> that was a little scary. <laughs> Don't tell me it's still not opening. Come on, this, this board part is a little suck. You'll get over. <laughs> we can't Holy see. Holy smoke. Oh, man. Oh, man. There's definitely money in this. Box up here. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. I'm excited about. Hey, everybody, how are we doing today? Robert Ziva Auctioneer Extraordinaire, and I got Jeff, the man, Noble, with me today in a 10 by 25 unit. Gentleman worked for the airlines, had money. Oh, no way! No way! You gotta be kidding me. I can't see it. You won't believe it. Well, show ready? us, man. Hold on. Oh, oh, I no see way. a case. I see a case. Are those oh, gun cases? That's a gun case. Oh. But wait, do you see what's behind this? A safe. A safe. Oh my god. That's not a safe. That's a giant. Yeah. Giant safe, dude. How are oh. we gonna open it? I've never opened one that big. Oh, you don't have to worry about Does it that. To take professional help. Yeah. Called me. You? Wow. 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 Right, buddy Jeff, he said, Rob, how are you going to get into that safe? Well, I brought a few of my favorite tools with me. First of all, giant pry bar. This thing can move concrete, let alone a safe door. Then, come on in, Jeff. Some of the other tools 10 pound sledgehammer. 16 pound sledgehammer, almost twice the sledge. You know what I'm talking about. You gotta have pry bars, little sledgehammer, regular hammer. So, I don't know what I'm gonna need to get in here, but I know I got everything I need to get in here. Jeff, we're gonna show you what's in here and everyone else, you're gonna see what's inside. Hope you're ready for this. All right, guys, we got the safe here. This won't move. This won't even move. I'm assuming you have to put a key in here just to do the combination. So we're gonna try to bust in. Jeff, you think we're gonna have any luck? I've never opened a safe this big. All right. It can't be that easy. Oh, it's never that easy. A lot of times we'll take off the face plate first. We'll get into the inner workings. You'll see. So I wonder if anyone could guess how long it'd take you to open it. I, it I'm saying it's going to be over 30 minutes. Over 30 minutes? Yeah. What do you say? How good are you? I don't know. I never opened a liberty you say The question is how You're a minute it? in. Tick, tock, tick. Oh, what's going on there? The question is how There's good a little bendage. Is a liberty safe? I'd help you, but I gotta get this on camera. You're good to go. Ladies and gentlemen, look at the look at the intense focus. Look at his face. Oh, he's trying. Definitely gotta start. Definitely gotta start. Can you get it open? Can you get it open a little bit? And I'll I'll see if it smells like money. <laughs> oh, I'm hoping. There's got to be something in there.
My father always says, time, patience, and perseverance. And I think that's going to be the key this time. I think it might be the key. I think that might be a safe bet. <laughs> I'll be here really? all week. Hopefully not. Yeah. I'd say on its back. Oh. What's it weigh? A lot. I'd say over 250. A lot. Oh, he's it. Sometimes you just gotta take a little bit of aggression. So, I'm no professional, uh -huh. but I would assume that the lock is on the left, like a door handle. That's what you're saying? I guess it would be my left. So it seemed like, like this gap right here is where you want to try to get it separate. Yep. I'm with you on that. Because there's, there's shit, there's, do you, is there more than one, like, lock in these? There's going to be a, a door. A lot of times, like I said, this panel is going to come off. It's probably going to get to the next layer. I'm okay. I'm okay. It's getting dangerous now, Jeff. Yeah. I know you didn't sign up for this. If you want to leave, you can walk away from this mission now. <laughs> this is the camera, Jim. This is fun this is fun stuff. Hey, don't be shooting that bar at me. Little crowbar flying, never hurt anybody. Yeah. Should I know? Are we gonna get a lunch break today? Depends on what's in the safe. What 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 did you eat yesterday? Didn't you tell me dollar hamburgers or lobster? Didn't you tell me you got a twenty five dollar Subway gift card out of here yesterday and had it for dinner? Yes, that's true. So I got the privilege to hang out a little bit yesterday with Robert, and I would say at least fifty times. Whoa! Oh, I got my glasses off. I can't see. Sorry, good. <laughs> <laughs> that went right by my head. <laughs> I, ah! Okay, I'm okay. Anyways, 50 times yesterday, he says, "What's in the safe? What's in the What's in the safe? Did you sleep last night? Oh, like a baby. Oh man, what's in the safe?" All right, we got Jeff. I'm using Jeff for leverage. Yeah, use me for weight. We're trying to get into there and we got this far. Oh. But I think we're between the two walls of the safe. But this has got to be getting the combination door part off has got to be the hardest part. So, man, now we just got to keep prying it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Teeter totter. Woo! Having fun yet? It was a little scary. <laughs> Holy smoke. We've been hitting it, prying it. It's a big safe. Better not be empty, that's for sure. I can't wait to see what's in this bad boy. But we just took the handle off. Gonna unscrew those. Try to peel this off. And hopefully we'll be inside the Liberty Liberty safe. Alright. We definitely heard something in the safe when we flipped it. 
which almost got the door peeled off. I'm gonna try to. Jeff? Yeah. Anyone notice you had a sweatshirt on before? Now you got a t shirt and sweat rolling. <laughs> hey, is this where you say, ladies and gentlemen, don't try this at home? That's where I say, I have to check out the next episode, see what's in the safe. All right, let's see what we got, Jeff. He thinks he's going to be a pride open. Let's see? There we go. It's there. Oh, look. look at that. Oh, oh. The door. The door. The door. The door. Oh. Oh, so we finally got it open. We turned the safe and we money just started falling out. So that's a good sign. Oh. Don't oh. tell me it's still not opening. This board part is a little suck. Y'all get our. <laughs> we can't Holy see. Holy smoke. Oh man. Oh man. There's definitely money in this. Holy smoke. So who knows what's all in here? Oh, wow. Paperwork. Are you here? That could be a gold earring, cufflink, or something. There's money down here. There's a metal box. Holy smoke! I need to get something to put this stuff in. Hold on one second. Please get something to put it on. So first thing I see is all this change up here. These are rolls of pennies, and we have no clue these can have wee pennies in here. Hoo 1965 silver dollar. Man, there's a lot of change right here. There's pennies, but there's definitely other stuff mixed in here. Oh man, there's a lot. Look at them in the door. Look how you had to tear apart that door to get in there. Yep, we had to. There's just change in here, pennies, there's money falling all over the place. Oh, there's definitely some other stuff I see right there. Oh, there's quarters. So, I mean, the money's adding up. I only paid five hundred dollars for the unit, and hopefully, there's gonna be enough stuff in here to pay for it. Watch this key. Oh wow! I wonder where the Lexus is at. <coughs> I see this. Oh yeah. Something right there. The whole thing full of change. <coughs> All pennies here. I don't know how it's running pennies. Here's another roll of dimes. There's a whole metal shelf here. Let's we'll see what's behind that. There's just money falling everywhere. Change everywhere. I'm gonna try to take out the shelf. <laughs> What's in the metal box, Jeff? I don't know. Stocks and bonds. Holy smokes. Uh, that, that, that looked heavy. What is it? I have no clue. Zoom in close. Show them what it is. I don't know. This is something wrapped up here. Oh my. Got a box right here. Oh my. I guess let's see what's in this box first. That looks like a silver dime. 1955 silver dime. Showboat. Right time. 
pitchers. So why'd you put pitchers in the safe? Don't know. They're important to them. Envelope. <clears throat> I think this could have money. So we'll have to keep her looking. Seeking position. Man. Oh, wow. Another roll of quarters, another roll of quarters, another roll of quarters. There's pennies, dimes, nickels, nickels. And there's this change everywhere. This whole bottom is just filled with change. And I know we saw one pound, one silver penny. So some of this stuff's probably gonna be silver right there, right there. So we know we're going to have silver coins. This is little pictures. Oh my gosh. Another roll of quarters. Penny. Dollar, two dollar, three dollar, four dollar, five dollar, six dollar, seven dollar, eight dollar, nine dollar, ten dollar. Another roll of quarters. We had to find just 50 bucks in quarters already. And that's the thing about the safe, you hate to break it open. But what else are you gonna do? You gotta break it open. Everyone's like, oh, just go pay someone to open it. Lots of money, two, three hundred dollars. You know how much the safe's worth? You're lucky to get two, three hundred dollars out of the safe. So you bust this open. Man, there's a lot of money down here. Whew. All right, let's see what we got over here. Ooh, I see silver coins. down here just, just a empty bag we got this I don't know what that is holy smoke another nickel more pennies look at all that change right there I mean just in we probably got close to our money bag just in change change let's see we got this box here this huh. right here what does it say 14 karat gold 1977 oh it's a tooth i think a cap for a tooth or something i don't know whatever it is it's 14 karat gold looks like a fingernail it does look like a fingernail it says gold nails. See? Man. I know. Who wouldn't want a gold nail? I know my nails. You do know your nails. So what the heck is this? It's very interesting. Huh. It's got a t-shirt and got some silver coins in here. Do not duplicate key. So. Just didn't know what you're gonna find in the safe. And uh, I don't know. They had it loaded with change. I was hoping they had it loaded with cash, but it's definitely loaded with money. Got a little bit of gold. It was a good day. Jeff's happy because he finally busted into the safe and now he's seeing how it's done. Next time it'll only take him half the time. Got money for lunch, right? You got money for lunch. Nice. No lobster though. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else we got. Ooh, what is this? No way. Yard Garden Electric Pest Chaser? <laughs> That's what I need. I wonder if that's really it. You gotta make sure, you never know. My wife would use that for me. <laughs> Chase you away? Yeah, I don't that's, think you'll leave. That might be the ringing in my head I hear. <laughs> it's brand new in the box. <clears throat> Ooh, look at that Waterford. Ooh, a little kind of cake slicer. Waterford Crystal. It's probably 10, 20 bucks. Oh, these are good for the ice and snow. Ice and snow. What the heck is this? You got some old computer. This in here. It says 1997 Sidekick Backup Disc.
Brookstone. It's be like a digital little clock. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Okay. What is this? Oh, it's a little portable iron. Iron? Yep. Take with you. Just a little tiny one. Empty. Brand new. Twin candles. So we got some more brand new stuff in here. Lights. <laughs> LED shake flashlight, no batteries needed. Shake it up. Shake, shake, shake it up. Another brand new flashlight. Brand new door closer. Looks like a lock, I think. Automatic door closer. Oh, you put it on, just automatically closes the door for you? That's what I need. Got some lazy kids. Rain-X anti-fog. All kind of brand new hardware wow. in here. Brand new tire gear for Mercedes. Priceless. Right, this one says carp and lampshades. I feel like a carp or a lampshade. That is heavy. Oh, look at this. Got a wood stand. A main vase. That's got to hold a lamp if it's got a screw like that, or is it just a vase? It's a vase. Why is there a screw in the bottom? Because that's how they have the wooden base connected. Oh. All right. It's a nice piece. Wasn't expecting to find that in here. And then we got brand new tires, all we sell. There's one, two, three, four, four brand new tires. Quick look at these comment boxes. <laughs> Doctor Who. Who? Who? You know Doctor Who? Who? And then underneath there, it's all Doctor Who VHS tapes. Who? Who? Doctor Who. Who? Hey. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Hey. Doctor Who. We got Buffy. Everyone loves Buffy. Flight Path, all kind of movies. Underneath there, just more Bad News Bears, Bad Boys, America Reunion, Batman Forever, Batman. These are still sealed. You're getting enough videos. You could you could start Blockbuster number two. I could start a new Blockbuster video. There's, there's only one left, right? Guess what? They're all going to be in an auction. So if you want to start your own Blockbuster, just go mm -hmm. to secondsense.com and bid. And look at Jurassic Park, Indiana Jones. Frankenstein. Frankenstein. All new. There's money nice. all day. Two chargers. Money all day. So there's, there's our $50 box. And then these awesome, awesome lamps. Let me take a look at these things. Oh my gosh, they're so heavy. They are huge. And I think the fuzzy lampshades go to this. What do you think, Jeff? These are neat. How tall would you say that is? I mean, just looking at you standing next to it, it's up to your waist. It's going to be like three foot tall lamps, right? Yeah. And then with this top part, probably four foot. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. It's pushing five feet. Pots and pans. Oh, look at that. Cast iron. Just see if it was marked. Hmm. Two boxes left. Let's see what else we find. Oh, this is a money box right here. Big time money box. Look at this. Griswold number eight. That's a lid right there. Just that little one, probably thirty, forty dollars. Right there, number eight with the lid. Wow. Hopefully this isn't Griswold. Oh man, it might be. They're just so dirty. I'm gonna have to have Jeff help me clean these. One time we had a whole cast iron pan auction, Jeff. Wow. Cornbread skillet. This is a lodge grill. Oh, cast iron. Made in Taiwan, but still. And then we got right here corn muffin. Wagner ware. Patent date 1920. 
and then here's the aluminum one. So probably maybe 10 bucks, 40 bucks, 30 bucks. This box alone, easily a hundred dollar box. So. All right, where else to get a new parking curb in a storage unit? Now I can put that in my shop and then I'll put VIP parking. You know what they have to say about that? Stop it. <laughs> all right, we know there's some silver change, but first we'll count up all the, the pennies, all the quarters, all the rolled stuff first. See how much money we got. I paid $510 for the unit. Does the change pay for the unit? I already had items in the auction I sold. And I already made almost $400. I think I got $400 already back from the unit just on some furniture, the rugs. That's a lot of pennies. Two, four, six, eight, nine. So we got to try to get 10 across to make it easier to count. Man, it's a lot of pennies. Pennies here, we got one, I mean, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 50. 33, 50 in pennies. In quarters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six rolls of quarters. 32, 50, that's 92, 50. Nickels, 4 bucks. 92.50, it's 96.50 plus a 5.96.50, that's 101.50 in rolled change. Then we've got the dollars here 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109. Dollars. So we have 109. And now we got all this change. All this change, and I know we got silver. So I know he's found some silver, so let's see how much silver, how much change total. Wow. All right, let's dump this out. There's definitely silver in here, so here's a wheat penny, steel wheat penny. Man, there's a lot of money here. Silver dime. Another silver dime. Mercury dime. Benjamin Franklin, silver dollar, or half dollar. Holy smoke. I found, um, what is that, Two Faces coin. Liberty silver dollar. All right, what I've been doing is taking out all the nickels, pennies. So I get mostly dimes left. Bag of nickels, bag of dimes, pennies here. Trying to find silver as we go. And I've been finding silver dimes, everything else is barely looking. So I'm, I know there's more I'm missing. And if we weigh the money out, we'll see how much total cash was in the safe. I want you guys to put in the comments what you think. How much money you think is in the total safe amount? Dimes and the nickels. We'll count out the quarters. We got one, two, three, four, five, ten, fourteen, 
dollars and 25 cents in quarters not bad what we found so far two silver quarters four walking liberties three ben franklins about 10 silver dimes two four six eight nine ten silver dimes a couple susan b's a couple sack of Zioanas, a couple Canadian quarters, so not too bad. Now let's go see how much we got in nickels and dimes. So I figured the easiest way to do this is first we'll take a bag, weighs 0.2 ounces, and we'll tear it out to zero. Next thing we'll do is see how much a dollar in dimes weighs. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen dimes in an ounce, in one ounce, okay. 13. Let's try it again. Make sure we're close. Right, I'm going to count out another different round dimes here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, 13 dimes it is. 13 dimes, so $1.30. Equals one ounce. All right, it's teared. Two pounds, 11.4 ounces. So two pounds, that'd be 16 ounces in a pound. So that's 32, 30, 43.4, 43.4 ounces times 13. If my math is right, it comes out to about $56. All right, the nickels here. Two, three, four, five, six. So we got six 30 cents equals one. We'll try it again. Two, four, six. All right. Holy smoke. Two pounds, 14 ounces. So that's 32, 46.3. 46.3 times 30 cents. Let's find out. All right, that comes out to just a little bit over $13. So we'll add it all up. Total for the safe, plus some silver coins. Not too bad. All right, here's just some of the comic books here. And he has Thor, and there's like 263, 65, 66, 67, 73, 74. So like just almost all in order and uh just goes on and on that's just the thor he said box is a common justice leagues like i said in order we got vintage justice league 12 centers so cool they're not all in awesome condition. Some are in great, better condition than others. Right here's a good book, The Ghost Rider number one. Unfortunately, it does have a tear in the corner. Number two, three, four, five. World's Finest. All kind of cool comics. Inside there, we got Avengers. All in order, 101. Set in the old Thors. Some of them he has two of, like right here in 147. There's one, two, three of them. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a good book right there. All right. Two and one Defenders. All kind of comics. Then look at some of these old X Men. I haven't started bagging boredom. All these books are worth money. Money, money, money. Look at this one. X Men 35, take a look. 38, 
39. Oh, 12 centers. Here's another good book. 41. 42. And I hope you guys enjoy it. If you stuck around, you guys are going to get to see the Holy Grail book. And the safe, it was just a decoy, I think. The comics is where the money's at. Wait, do you see this? Want to see the money book? Boom. That's right. Incredible Hawk 181. First appearance of the Wolverine. And this is why I buy storage units to find holy grails like this. You never know what you're going to see. Never know what you're going to find. I love what I do. Hopefully, you love watching it. Share. Don't forget, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. Share with all your friends out there. Last box up here. Oh, 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 yes. 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 I'm excited about what? I'm excited now. What? Oh, you'll see. You'll see. Remember we got rid of all these? Yes. We needed some more. No, that's not why I'm excited. I'm just joking, Joe. <laughs> that's because of this. Easy breeze, screen door. No, that's not why I'm excited. But it Are is you brand kidding me? Box. That's not why I'm excited. It's because of this right here. A you're double right. seal draft. No, I know you're lying because you couldn't see that. What did you say? Right, you ready? You ready? What is that? What is that, buddy? Oh, that man. A sword. Look at that. I can't believe it. Wow. 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 Look at this. This looks like a Masonic sword. That doesn't look like that came from the United States. Yeah, this isn't a Can you see anything? Oh, it's all etched and great. Oh, wow. The guy's name's on that side, so we won't show that side. Right there's the name of the company. Columbus, Ohio. Does it say Molly yeah. and Company? Columbus, Ohio. It is Ohio. Yeah, I'm going to take a look at this the engraving all the way up. Handle. And just That's impressive. Very cool piece. Wow, wow, wow. And I think I have three of these in my collection. I might just have four. That's why I love my job. You never know what you're going to see. You never know what you're going to find. That one's a keeper. $500 unit. And there's so much awesome stuff in here. The lamps are awesome. Cast iron pans. New stuff. A safe. Firearms. Comic books. Man, I love my job. Hope you love watching. You have a wonderful, wonderful day.